All right, Fight Fans, it's about that time. Mr. Eddie Hearn is joining us now. What's up, Eddie? Hearn Unleashed. We're unleashing you, Eddie, on the public right now. Are you ready? This is what, this no, is, no, this I is don't... what you want. You get me in trouble. Far away. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not calling it Unleashed of Barack, because lately he hasn't been unleashing anything, but maybe today we'll pull something out of him. Welcome to the show, Eddie. Look, first off, I, I, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about, but I want to jump right into uh, Anthony Joshua and the update on him fighting this year. It looks like it's going to be 2023. And if so, is there, are we narrowing it down to a certain name or a couple names? Throw something at me. Uh, I think originally the plan obviously was December. If, if that Tyson Fury fight could get made. Now it hasn't and it's dragged on. Probably January or February is, is where we're looking at. Um, in terms of names, I mean, look, you know, talking to him the other day, he, he wants to fight Dillian White, really. Um, Dillian wow. White fights November 29th against Franklin, who's talking a, a tremendous game. And we'll <laughs> see how that plays out. But right. yeah, I think I think Dillian White's probably the front runner if he comes through. You know, Otto Wilding is a guy that's reached out numerous times. I think that's a good fight for him as well. Um, you know, and then of course there's the Wilder situation. Not saying that's going to be the fight for January or February, but it's definitely a fight that he's looking at. I think the feeling from AJ is the the value of a and, and by the way, none of them are easy fights. But the value value of a tune up, if you like, they're all sometimes they're all as dangerous as each other. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? In the heavyweight yeah, division, so I don't yeah. think he right. wants to start dropping out of the top fifteen and top ten of, of the governing bodies and just looking for an easy touch. I think he wants but, a real fight, and and right. yeah, those those are all real fights that you could see him in. But as a promoter and as a mate, as a friend, are you kind of happy that that fight didn't happen between Joshua and Fury? Because you kind of wanted him to stay within the fifteen, but not the top guys right now. Build up your confidence, resharpen your tools. Yeah, I mean, I'm not happy it didn't happen because I got most of the blame. Oh but, um, <laughs> no, I think that it probably wasn't the right time to take it. But once he'd taken the bait. Once yeah. he had it in his mind that it was the fight he wanted, that was it. The, the decision it. was made. The fact that it didn't happen, for various reasons, I'm not, I, I'm disappointed as a fight fan, but you know, I, I think there's so much still to come from Anthony Joshua, and I think you'll see, you'll see that fight as well. That, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I, I'm comfortable with, with where he's at, I'm comfortable with the plan that we have. Yeah, right. well, you mentioned that, you know, while the fight, is a fight that's in, in the horizon. Now, it's been a while since we heard Wilder openly say, yeah, Joshua is a fight that I want. You know, for a long period of time, he was trying to blackball him. But now that he's open about that, are you planning ahead? Has there been any attempt to reach Al or Finkel or anybody to start even talking about that fight? No, I mean, I agree with you. I think it's really refreshing that he's come out and said, that's a fight we want. You know, Shelley said that as well. There's been no talks yet. I mean, look, that fight's very unlikely to happen in January or February when AJ's fighting. But it's, it, I've said before, it could be the biggest fight in boxing. Right. You know, I mean, I know the Fury fight's huge, but that fight is a fight between two huge punchers, you know, two very fast athletes. And it's just a fight that would resonate globally. As, as one of the biggest in the sport. So we 100% won that fight in 2023. You know, you know that, and even Wilder's team admitted that I reached out, what, a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, whatever it was, asking to start talks for that fight. I didn't get a reply. But right. at least publicly, they're saying we won that fight. And I believe them as well, by the way. So, you know, I expect to pick up those, uh, those discussions as we close in the year. I know there's a lot of talk about him fighting Andy Ruiz. I think he's a tremendous fight. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. But, um, you know, there's a, a lot of great fights to be made in the division. Okay, well, speaking of resonating globally, um, there's a fight that's not, at the moment, resonating globally, and that's Fury versus Chisora. Can you tell us, since we're not in the UK, can you tell us the climate in the UK about this particular fight? How are they reacting? Well, it's difficult because obviously Del Boy is my friend, so I don't want to criticise the fight, but no the, the, the UK public are very disappointed because they wanted Fury against uh, AJ and anything else was going to be a disappointment. So I, I think because... But do you, feel like, do you feel like eventually once the fight happens, it's going to be one of those fights that people be like, oh, wow, we needed this. It was a really good fight. No, or I think what? The pro I, yeah, I think the problem is because the first two were fairly one-sided. Mm. It's very unusual to get a trilogy in that respect. But look, Dell's, you know, he's improved. He's, um, 
you know, he's earned his shot, I think, you know, by hanging around and he had a good win against Pulev and, you know, I think people would have preferred maybe an in-house fight with Joseph, uh, Joe Joyce. I think that was maybe a stretch though, like he Fury. earned a shot. I don't I don't think he probably earned a shot at Fury. He did earn a better fight though, but not necessarily you, no, but to become you know lineal what, champion, you know? Prob probably, probably in terms of who Fury was looking at, he uh, definitely had <laughs> because listen, until he saw the backlash of Manuel Char, who he was definitely down to fight. You have to understand right. as well, we were told that, you know, I won't go over old ground, but we were told that we had to sign four weeks ago because Fury wanted to make his decision wow. in terms of who he was fighting. And right. nearly four weeks after, he finally made a decision. I don't know why we weren't allowed that time, but Chisora only signed the contract four or five days ago. Wow. So, but we were told we had to sign a contract nearly a month ago. So. We, we all saw Deontay Wilder, uh, you know, score a big knockout in the first round. It wasn't even a flush shot. Uh, we haven't spoken since since then. Uh, is, he, he alluded to the fact that he will want to fight Fury again. Most people were saying, look, no way, you lost your last two fights. Do you think though, because of his level of power, uh, that he's always going to be in a big fight and people are always going to be intrigued by that regardless of who he fights? For sure, because anything can happen. A Wilder, can, Wilder can get knocked out in the first round. Wilder can get outboxed. Wilder can lose every second of every round. And Wilder can win the fight at any moment. Yeah? So that's why he's so excited. I mean, Hellenius jumped in, got clumsy, and Wilder's performed. I mean, Wilder is so good for the division. You know, yeah. so good for the division. And he's very, very dangerous. He's also very vulnerable. You know, he's also not the, the technically the greatest fighter in the world, but he's explosive. He's got dynamite hands and he's very, very good for boxing. So I think it's brilliant to see him back. But with all that said, you wouldn't want to see a fourth fight against Fury and Wild. So, see, who fight against Fury? Uh, no, I'm saying you wouldn't want to see a fourth fight between oh, Wilder and Fury. You know, I don't. 